कक्षा एगार पढ़ुने भाई बहनी को लगी मेरे इस यूट्यूब चैनल ड्रीम्स लर्निंग जोन में स्वागत आज म इस भिडियो में कंप कंपलसरी इंग्लिश को न्यू कोर्स को यूनिट टू को फ्री राइटिंग भेजे को बाकी पार्ट लु अर्क भिडियो अगिल भिडियो में पूरा नुना अर्क सेकेंड भिडियो लु मिडियो कंटिन्ू कर चाहूँ ओके टाइम टू डू इट द सो द एडिटिंग इज हेवियर वेन इज स्पीकिंग देर इज समन राइट देयर वेटिंग फर अ रिप्लाई एंड ही विल गेट बोर्ड आर थिंक वी आर क्रेजी इफ वी डोन्ट कम आउट अफ द समथिंग आउट अफ डोट कम आउट विथ समथिंग ओके सो एडिटिंग इज हेवियर सो एडिटिंग सो देर आर लोड्स अफ चांसेस टू डू एडिटिंग एडिटिंग्स इन द राइटिंग बट इन द स्पीकिंग यू कैन नट एडिट बिकज एज सुन एज यू स्पीक द लिस्नर हियर्स यू सो इफ यू मेक मिस्टेक्स इफ यू स्पीक अननेसरी थिंग्स द रिडर दे आर बोर्ड ओके दे आर बोर्ड एंड दे थिंक अस अ क्रेजी और दे दे वट दे इवेलुएट अस रंगली ओके दे दे मे बी बोर्ड इफ वी यूज अननेसरी वर्ड्स सेंटेन्सेज वाइल स्पीकिंग बट इन राइटिंग दे आर चांसेस यू कैन डू लोड्स अफ एडिट्स ओके बट द भेरी एडिटिंग इज हिंड्रेन्स फर राइटिंग स्पोन्टेनियस राइटिंग मोस्ट अफ दि टाइम इन स्पीकिंग वी सेटल वी सेटल फर द कैच एज कैच कैन वे इन हुईज द वर्ड्स टम्बल आउट सो यू कैन अल्सो इम्प्रूव योर स्पीकिंग बाई यूजिंग द अवेलेबल मेथड्स अवेलेबल थिंग्स ओके इफ यू ड्रप समथिंग इफ यू डू सम मिस्टेक्स यू कैन करेक्ट अल्सो इन स्पीकिंग इन राइटिंग हाउ एवर देर इज अ चांस टू ट्राई गेट देम राइट बट इन कंपेरिजन टू स्पीकिंग राइटिंग अलोज यू मोर चांसेस टू एडिट बट द अपर्चुनिटी टू गेट देम राइट इज टेरिबल बर्डन सो यू कैन वर्क फर टू आवर्स ट्राइंग टू गेट अ पाराग्राफ एंड डिस्कवर इट इज नट राइट एट अल दैन गिव अप बट देर इज अ चांसेस टू गिव अप योर राइटिंग एटेम्प्ट बिकज यू ट्राई टू राइट very effective uh, very good uh, piece of writing but uh, you do some editings and the editings um, you want to improve your writing and the, and the very thing that uh, hindrances your writing and uh, when you think that your writing is not very good then you give up your writing you abandon your writing in this way your writing uh, habit is uh, what is stopped okay because of uh, the habit of uh, editing editing is necessary but uh, unnecessary editing uh, empowers you to become a fluent uh, writer editing itself is not the problem editing is usually necessary if you want to end up something uh, satisfactory so at the last when you want to make your final output final uh, Uh, writing then at that time you can do your re, uh, editing but uh, uh, during the time of free writing uh, you don't have to do any kind of editing yes editing is done only uh, <coughs> at the time of uh, giving the final output of your writing the problem is that editing goes on at the same time as producing what is the our main problem is the uh, main problem that we uh, this is we try to uh, edit while writing so it is an, uh, not a good habit uh, because uh, the uh, <coughs> motive for, for <coughs> editing so uh, makes you disturbed y you cannot uh, write uh, freely uh, when you are thinking of editing the editor is now according to uh, the text uh, what is the definition of the editor the editor is at it where 
constantly looking over the soldier of the producer and constantly fiddling with uh, what he is doing while he is in the middle of uh, trying to do so instant uh, watching of the editor or uh, correction of the editor on your writing so that makes you <coughs> nervous okay no wonder the producer gets wonder suppose someone is sitting close to you while you are writing and uh, that person uh, maybe editor is uh <coughs> watching on your words your sentences and uh, at that time w w you feel nervous and uh, you are disturbed and you cannot write uh, fluently automatically so uh, nervous you feel jumpy you jump uh, words uh, you, you jump uh, sentences and inhabited and finally uh, can't be uh, coherent uh, you cannot write a coherent uh, piece of writing so it is an unnecessary burden to try to think of words and also worry at the same time whether they are right words okay so <coughs> that is the main uh, effect of uh, the editing or uh, the process of editing uh, for uh, the new or the for, uh, for the uh, learning writer writers or uh, the students especially who start uh, their writing <coughs> the main thing about free writing is that it is non edited i already told you even mentioned in the text non edited piece of writing this is free writing is non edited because no one is editing you if uh, someone is editing uh, your writing it's not good because uh, it interrupts you that is why it's non editing okay nobody edits it or should not edit <coughs> It is an exercise in bringing together the process of producing words and putting them down on the page. So it's only bringing the process of producing words. You are just producing words, and the words uh, they are writing. Uh, you you, you uh, put them on the uh, white sheet of paper with the help of your pen. So practiced regularly. So if you do free writing regularly, it undoes the ingrained habit. So uh, uh, especially we are habituated of editing while writing. So this habit we have to improve. We have to quit this kind of habit and uh, uh, regular practicing of uh, free writing uh <coughs> helps to uh, improve this kind of habit. At the same time, you are trying to produce. It will make writing less blocked because uh, the words will come more easily. W when you are free, when you are working automatically, or when you let your mind work uh, automatically, autonomously, then uh, you, you can express easily. When there is no any kind of uh, disturbance, when there is any kind of uh, nervousness, yes, when there is any kind of fear, you can write freely and uh, <coughs> it helps you uh, improve your writing. You will use up more paper but you a few fewer pencils, okay? So you do not bite your pencils, y you just go on writing without stopping. Next time you write, notice how often you stop yourself from writing down something you are going to write down. For, for example, uh, next time you write, when you are writing, next time what you do, you try to count the number of uh, stoppings that you uh, did uh, in your previous writing and uh, <coughs> or else cross it. How many times you crossed uh, after re writing? Naturally, you say it was not any good. Yes, so, but think of a moment about the occasion when you spoke well so writing and uh, speaking both of them they are same yes in the very beginning uh, you feel difficulties you cannot uh, speak properly in the same way writing you cannot do uh, uh, your writing uh, freely you cannot uh, write uh, <coughs> spontaneously in the beginning but uh, when you are habituated when you do lots of practices you can write a good piece of writing same in the same way usually it was a matter of halting okay or even gar uh, garbled beginning so your beginning is not uh, very good it's, uh, it's uh, unclear beginning yes and uh, you are uh, so <coughs> uh, you stopped okay you, you become nervous yes uh, when you are speaking in front of uh, people you 
uh, become nervous but uh, gradually when you start uh, speaking in front of a uh, uh, mass or in front of uh, people so you gradually improve your speaking habit okay but you keep uh, kept going and your speech finally became coherent okay and only after lots of practices you can make a logical you can make coherent yes, uh, consistent writing uh, and even powerful also conveying the message you want to deliver to there is a lesson here for writing okay uh, there is a lesson here for writing trying to get beginning just right is a formula of our failure okay so <coughs> first uh, before we write we have to think of the uh, concept uh, uh, concept or what we are going to write we, ha we have to uh, just uh, think on that topic and only after that uh, we have to start writing but uh, <coughs> immediate instant writing is not good you have to plan yes before you write probably a secret tactic to uh, tactic to make yourself give up writing okay so <coughs> Uh, before you write, uh, you have to think, okay? You, you have to uh, <coughs> bring some ideas on your mind and after that, uh, you have to go on writing continuously. Make some words, whatever they are, and then grab a hold of line and reel as hard as you can. Afterwards, you can throw away lo uh, lousy beginnings and make uh, new ones, okay? So, uh, mean or... Uh <coughs> low quality beginning okay uh, make a new ones uh, this is the quickest way to get into good writing okay so what uh, does this paragraph uh, say it says that uh, practice okay practice is needed to become uh, a good writer as well as a bec uh, to become a, a fluent uh, speaker so in the very beginning you cannot become a fluent speaker you cannot uh, express your uh, feelings your emotions or your voice spontaneously in the very beginning it needs a uh, lots of practices only after that practice you can uh, write a good piece of writing or you can also uh, deliver an effective uh, <coughs> influencing speech So the uh, the habit of compulsive uh, premature editing does not just make writing hard. Okay, so compulsive, compulsive and premature editing. Okay, editing is premature in a sense that you are writing as well as you are doing editing. So only after completion, only uh, after finishing your piece of writing, and uh, when you think that. Uh <coughs> You have completed uh, the free writings and then you can only edit okay so don't start uh, editing uh, while you are writing any piece of writing it also makes writing dead okay so your editing nature makes uh, your writing dead or you cannot express you cannot uh, <coughs> write down uh, spontaneously okay your voice is damped out by all the interruptions okay you, well while you are doing editing uh, you, you are interrupted and, and you the change of words uh, sentences and agitations between the consciousness and the page okay in your natural way of producing words there is a sound a texture a rhythm a voice okay so in your natural way of producing words there is sound so uh, in your uh, writing there should be sound there should be sentence pattern there should be rhyme uh, rhythm or a voice it means a message okay uh, m e s s a g you want to deliver okay which is the main source of uh, power in your writing i don't know how it works but the voice is the force okay <coughs> to make your message to make your uh, to impart your message very much clearly to the reader uh, you have to do lots of practices without practice you cannot uh, write a, uh, a good piece of writing It is said that uh, <coughs> uh, voice or a clear message is the uh, main source of uh, uh, power in your writing. I don't know how it works, but uh, this voice is the force that will uh, make a reader listen to you. It means uh, make a reader listen to you. It means your reader listens to you uh, because of your because of your voice yes so y you have to voice means your message okay what you want to give to the uh, uh, readers okay or listener okay so you must have a clear voice you must have a clear message and uh, <coughs> so <coughs> 
So voice is a force, okay? So voice is uh, is uh, the force that will uh, make a reader listen to you. The energy that drives the meaning through uh, his thick skull, okay? So the energy, so <coughs> it's the uh, energy. The voice is the energy that drives the meaning through his uh, thick skull. Maybe you don't like your voice, uh, for example, maybe you don't like your voice after reading, uh, after writing or after uh, completion of your free writing uh, y you may not like your voice maybe people have made fun of it or even uh, if uh, other people read your writing so they make fun of it okay they make fun of you but it's the only voice you have got it's your only source of your power and you get better back into it and no matter what you think of it you keep writing in it it may change into something you like better so whether other people like uh, your writing or not you just go on writing okay uh, if you don't write anything you don't have any voice okay no matter uh, you, your writing is not good you have not written a good piece of writing however you have a voice because you started writing you wrote something yes and but if you abandon it for example uh, if you quit your writing if you don't write anything you don't have anything yes so at least when you start writing when you do free writing exercises at least you have a voice maybe it may be powerful or not how however you have a voice yes uh, <coughs> Free writings are vacuums and gradually you will begin to carry in uh, over into your regular writing some of the voice force and uh, connectedness that creep into those vacuums. So uh, gradually uh, you uh, fill up your mind with uh, lots of vocabularies and uh, lots of sentence structures, sentence, uh, sentence patterns. Okay, So you, you, you gain lots of things after doing lots of free writing practices. So you just fill your vacuum okay, by doing free writing. Okay. So that is why the free writing is the most important thing. Okay. <coughs> Uh, now, uh, ways with words. So we have some questions uh, from this uh, essay. Let's see the questions. Okay. Uh, question number A. Uh, <coughs> so the words in the crossword. So we can see a crossword puzzle there, and uh, some uh <coughs> meanings are given there, and you have to find out the words, and you have to fill the crossword puzzle. Okay. The crossword puzzle is a puzzle okay and from the text you have to find words from the text find them in the text to solve the puzzle based on the clues given below okay so there are clues uh, one down and another across you have to fill down and you have to fill across okay let's see first one number one to, uh, <coughs> to be preoccupied with uh, a single topic or emotion okay uh, to be preoccupied with a single topic or emotion you have to fill down okay and you have to fill it uh, in number one okay so it means uh, <coughs> obsessed okay uh, preoccupied with a single topic or emotion it means obsessed o b yes e yes e yes yes obsessed means but to be preoccupied with single topic or emotion and number three go to three number here uh, to move slowly and quietly in a particular direction uh, it means uh, creep c r e e p creep okay creep and next uh, <coughs> orderly logical and consistent it means uh, number four coherent coherent uh, number three uh, uh, number four number four coherent c o yes e r e n coherent now across <coughs> to utter rapidly or unintelligibly okay uh, it means uh, two number across is uh, jabber j a 
B B E R jabber and next one is to insert something between uh, other things it uh, means uh, interpose I N T E R P O S E interpose and the last one is an unreadable uh, handwriting an unreadable handwriting it means uh, squiggle yes q u i g s q u i g g l a 